everybody, welcome back to a special edition unboxing. Today, we are going to look at the Walmart exclusive Splatoon 2 Nintendo Switch. Now, um, if, you, if you've been watching my channel, you know anything about me, I do already have a Switch, <laughs> and I love my Switch. Um, it has reminded me that I am a big Nintendo fanboy at heart. I still dig Xbox and PlayStation, but I am just playing the hell out of my Switch, and I've been wanting these neon Joy-Cons forever, and honestly, I've been kind of 50-50 about I could use a second Switch, so like, Mary can borrow one and have her own screen, and we can do local play, or you know, if I wanna play face-to-face uh, -face against somebody, we can set them up, and all that kind of stuff, plus I just have a backup, and in the meantime, this way I get two docks, I got an extra comfort grip, um, you know, carry case. I'll have two copies of Splatoon so we can do our own separate screen plays. Um, so I know it's a little bit silly <laughs> to uh, get a second Switch, but that is how much I love the Switch. And I'm buying like pretty much every game I can. Of course, Zelda is fantastic. Mario is around the corner. Splatoon is great. Uh, I've been playing Cave Story and loving that. Mario plus Rabbids is fantastic, and I just go down rabbit holes with that. Um, I just love it. So why not take a look at this? So let's get into it. We aren't going to take too long. There shouldn't be too much to look at here. And uh, I will show you as much of the box as I can. However, in certain areas, I need to be careful not to show you serial numbers. And uh, yeah, this was just kind of a little bit of a surprise that I was able to grab this today. Um, I'm finding plenty of these in Walmart. If you've been having trouble looking for switches and you haven't looked in like a week, maybe two weeks, go look. These things are everywhere now, not just the Walmart exclusives, but all the other various versions. Because um, you know, now that everybody's hyped for the uh, SNES, SNES Classic, everybody else is, uh, you know, slacking on picking up switches. Plus, not to mention, they've you know they've very much upped their production now. And they're not really having much supply problems here anymore. So you may still have to go to a store or two, depending on your area. But for the most part, you can find these. You can order them online at retail price. This was three hundred and eighty dollars. Usually, the Switch itself is going to be three hundred, but you get the sixty dollars game and you get a carrying case and unless you want to order import versions uh, this is currently the only way you can get the neon joy cons so you know there is that all right now let me find my way in here carefully i guess we're going to go down through here don't think anything is taped up excellent got some you know squid writing there and everything now i haven't played that much of the um splatoon because you know i've just got so many games in so little time but it is a phenomenal uh, fun game to play. I just have trouble with the motion controls, so maybe I need to play it without those. All right, so we open it. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Ooh, look at those. Look at those. Okay, those are gorgeous. We're taking a look at these first. Now, I love these neon colors. I don't know why, if it's a production thing or what, but Nintendo really needs to just bring out all kinds of colors and all kinds of designs, and they really need to step their game up with the Pro Controllers, because there's not really any colorful Pro Controllers. There was, again, a Japanese or European-only uh, Splatoon one that was gorgeous, and we're about to get a Xenoblade Chronicles 2 one, but that is just beautiful. The only problem I'm gonna have with these is this will be the first time I can't match. I bought the alternate red and blue, so I have two sets of red, two blue, and of course I bought the neon yellow um, arms ones. Uh, but still, that is so cool. And there's something really fun about just changing it up every now and then, mixing and matching um, the colors of the Joy-Cons. And these things are so much fun and all the different variations you can play. Now here's your actual Switch itself, if you aren't familiar. <laughs> um, so this is kind of what makes it portable and it goes right in the dock. I'm gonna need to get a screen protector for this one. I did a pretty decent job putting on the screen protector for my other one. Can't show you the serial number. There's the USB-C connection. You uh, pull this flap up here, you wanna be a little bit careful with it. It'll be a kickstand and you can put your SD card in there, which I do recommend getting. And SD cards are pretty freaking cheap these days. So that is really nice. And of course, the Joy-Cons just oh, make that beautiful snapping sound. Just. Now, if you are gonna put this in a dock, be careful, the dock can scratch, so that's why you wanna get a screen cover, or some people are making um, like dock kind of koozies, if you will, they're like little sheets that'll go over it and keep it from scratching, so that's kinda nice that people are making that, I should say. <laughs> All right, so this, of course, comes with a special edition case. This case is kinda interesting. It's not the best case. You're probably still gonna wanna get your own, but it's nice to get one in there. You get the Splatoon colors, which is kinda cool. And the nice thing about this is um, you can flip this up, and it's kind of a combo of a stand as well, so you can get kind of a different angle. I'm gonna just gently attempt to do this here because I don't wanna you know, screw it up. I don't have a flat ground to set it on, but that will kind of work. So, you know, you take this, these off and just look at the screen if the kickstand is not good enough for you. But I do recommend a regular uh, stand as well. You get a lot more options with what you're doing. All right, let's uh, get down in here. And we have the comfort grip. Well, the Joy-Con grip. This is not a charging grip. They do make a Splatoon one that I almost bought. 
They should include a charging grip. That's really my only gripe with the Nintendo Switches. But, you know, now I have uh, two of these and I have a red comfort grip, which is a little bit wider and it's a little bit sticky to stick one in because it's not actually made by Nintendo. But, you know, pretty good. I got to get a charging grip, though. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And again, you know, if you want to see, you got a little button here. You can just pop your Joy-Cons off really, really easily. And then, of course, snap them right in there. And this is actually a lot more comfortable than you would think. I still haven't gotten a single Pro controller because I haven't had a real reason to yet. Um, so, you know, you get, it comes with an HDMI cable, which is great. This particular one comes with everything you need out the box to start playing something. Now you got your power cable that'll hook into your dock or you can hook it directly into the Switch. Um, but that's where you will need a stand because if you just use the kickstand, you lose access to that. Most stands give you a spot to work with that from. Now here's one of the uh, side straps, the wrist straps, so if you're going to use it. And notice it has a minus symbol or a plus symbol. Make sure you line that up correctly or else it is a real pain in the butt to uh, pull these off if you do them opposite. Do them like that or something. You can do it, but you're going to need tools and it's a pain. So just pay real cl close attention to that. Other than that, these are pretty easy to get off and they give you the extra bumper buttons. You can use the buttons on the sides without. This just makes it a little bit easier. All right, and then of course, here's the other one. So <laughs> that's the other thing too. They make the color versions of these. They make the blue, the red, of course the gray, and the yellow. So unfortunately, I won't be able to get matching colors for these, but eh, it'll come eventually. All right, now I gotta be careful here not to show off a code because this is just the download. This is not the physical game, but it is the full game. Oh good, it has a scratch off thing. So, so I can show you all that kind of stuff there. And I bought this one digital too. Now that is one of my other rare minor gripes about the Switch is apparently, and I could be wrong, but if you do digital games, they are tied to that Switch. They're not tied to an account. So if like your Switch dies, you're gonna lose those games or something. So I've really been getting into the physical games. They're really tiny. They're just a little bit bigger than an SD card because it goes right in there. You got your headphone switch, your volume, your power, all that kind of stuff. Um, and I like the physical ones. I don't know, there's something old school about it for me. And of course you got your safety regulations, all that kind of stuff. And now we have the Switch dock. I went to the Switch doctor and this is what he said. Yeah, 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 I do lame jokes. And it's that simple. So this is great because now I can have one for another room. You have a couple USB ports on the side for like charging and updates if you need to do that or whatever. This part opens up. You can put a USB 3.0 in there. The side ones are 2.0. Uh, you get your power adapter and your HDMI. And you can nice, I like the way they designed that. So you can kind of keep all the cords coming out the side really nice and you can put that anywhere. Shite, I'll hopefully remember to blur that. <laughs> and then like I said, I'm not gonna do it because I don't wanna scratch a brand new one, but it just drops right in. It's really, really convenient. And I mean, you can be in the middle of a game, you can just pop it out and then you can play on the go or you can drop it right in and it's just spectacular. And then here's this part of the box for those of you that would like to see that. And Viola, there you go, my second Nintendo Switch. <laughs> it's not even been out for a year. I have never in my life done that, but that goes to show you how much I love the Switch. You may not. It's not graphically as good as the others, but you know what? I don't play games for the graphics so much as I play games for the fun, and Nintendo just keeps delivering on that, and now all the third-party people are coming over and just having a blast, and the graphics are still really, really good. Just not quite up to par with, like, especially the 4K stuff, but whatever, you know? I mean, games are supposed to be fun. So there you go, guys. There is my Splatoon. Oh, God, I'm so gonna charge these, and I'm gonna be playing tonight. I've been, I've been on a cave story kick, so I'm gonna have some fun with that. There's my Nintendo Switch unboxing. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I would like to get the Mario one, but I do not believe I can justify a third Switch. So hopefully they will at least put those Mario Joy-Cons out separately. Because <laughs> I am, you know, even back in the Nintendo 64 days, I like to have all the color controllers. There's just something cool about that for me. I don't mean like cool, like, oh, he's so cool. I just mean, to me, I dig it. But let me know, guys, do you have a Switch? Are you wanting one? Did you realize you can get them easily now? What games are you loving? What games are you most looking forward to? I got some, I'm Super Mario Odyssey, man. I'm making a whole weekend of that. It's going to be so much fun. But let me know. Geek out with me in the comments. Can't wait to hear what you guys have to say. Other than that, though, you can click that thumbs up button. You can give me the good old thumb of encouragement, as I do love to be encouraged. All right, I'm going to get out of here because i got a hell of a lot of gaming to do. And I'll see you all later. Later.